Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel. Kama kawaida ni M and Richie. So today I was gonna take you through my morning routine which I do when I wake up. Of course, I've already woken up. So I'm right in the kitchen. I want to prepare breakfast. So what I normally do, I have these two sufurias. There's a big one here and a small one. So the big one I use it for our tea. And this one, the small one, I use it for the morning porridge for our baby Israel. So for my tea, this is not normally what I usually do. So I'll first put water. Yes, just like that. Then um, I love milk. Normally 500 ml works for me because I'm not the kind of person who loves too much, too much what? Too much, too much milk. A lot of milk in my tea. Then I'm gonna turn this on. For me, just do it the Kenyan style. Then we we'll just wait for the water to boil. Then they put their milk. So for me, it all depends with the time on my side. But right now, I'm feeling pretty tired. Pretty tired. I don't know why I feel so tired. So I'm just gonna do it the Kenyan style. Yeah. So guys, normally my tea just do it the normal way. The only things I'm addicted to there are these the rosemary. I love my tea with that aroma and plus um, I love the taste it brings to my tea. So I normally add this, but I'll first wait for it to like heat up, heat up the, 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 what do you call this, the nylon, the nylon to heat up a bit. Then I'll add my rosemary. In anyhow, I can just do it anyhow I want. So I can just add the rosemary and put it everything. I don't know. My tea always takes the best. Whether I start with boiling the water, then the milk. Though the milk is always boiled. So I normally just put it directly. So once I'm done with that, I'll have to come and prepare my yuji. The porridge, baby Israel's porridge. So I normally prepare enough for... Uh, the, 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 the porridge he'll take at 8 in the morning and the one that he'll take at 3 or 4. It always depends with his waking up schedule. So, for the porridge, I don't cook a lot since he's only one, he just turned one by the way. He's weak. We thank God for the grace. So, uh, what I use for this porridge, I normally use this. It's windy. I don't know what they usually mix with it because I had tried Famila. It didn't work well with him. Uh, I tried. I tried a lot of porridges, but they didn't work well with him. So, somebody referred me somewhere. Well, uh, I got this porridge. A kg, I guess, goes for it's wimby. It's normally pure wimby, but I don't know what they add. They, it's like they mix, they mix to I don't know the wimby plus something else, but it's usually very good. Yet he coped up well with this, so it's normally wimby plus um I don't know what the other one. So for this, a kg goes for around ninety bob. Yeah, so I normally take like 2 kgs a month. Yeah, for I guess 1 kg it goes for around 2 weeks or more. Um, so this is what normal, I normally work with. So let me show you how it looks like. This is the glass I use for mixing. So I have to wait for the... I have to wait for the... For the water to boil. So that I can do my huge do my porridge so this is how I do it so this this is how it looks like normally brown and some whitish so that whitish that's what I've never known what it is but maybe I'll ask it's good on this to ask 
Normally you do two spoons. Then I'll just do this. So I drop my rosemary in the in the nylon, and um, I'm gonna wait it for it to be close to boiling so that I can add my tea leaves. So guys, this is what I use for my tea leaves. This is what I do. This is the tea leaves I use. It's called Kambati Premium. You guys, this. This is on another level. If you want the best taste of chilies, it's this one. This one is almost uh, the 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 level I can get it is with the Kiarisho Gold. Yes, that's the level I can get these tea leaves with. If I don't take these tea leaves or if I don't take the Kiarisho Gold, I don't feel like I've taken tea. So this is what you know, I normally take. If this one is absent, the Kiarisho Gold. Uh, I don't know. It always have the best taste, and the aroma is good. There's some tea leaves I've tried to take to take. Normally, it can't it can't pass through here. So this is what I normally take, and uh, I find it good. And normally, even when I have my visitors with this, they always ask uh, which tea leaves are you using. So guys, this is the secret. Kambati Premium. I guess this can go for around. Uh, I guess the much it can. Retail that is 300 shillings. Yes, yeah, so guys, you should try this. If you want, if you want this, you can just drop a comment there, and uh, I'll surely get you this. Or if you want the porridge, the, the porridge for Israel, I just buy it. The porridge I buy it at Kiambu. This one I buy it from uh, my hometown. That's where I get the tea leaves from. Yeah, so. so that's so good. I want to put this here, the lid here, so that it can boil faster. <laughs> I feel like it's taking a lot of time. You know, I've hooked it up with some salt roots. I guess it's the cold. And um, okay, so how? Yes, but we're managing. So, guys, we. The current high prices of food, how are you retaining? How are you managing? Jesus, the gas, everything is just crazy. Everything is crazy. But I don't know the place that we live in. Things are not, they're not so hyped up. Um, uh, like the milk, the milk is still, um, I guess, 50 a liter. So, um, and uh, what? The gas, um, the 13 kg is retailing from 2800. I normally use Ola, that's what I normally use. And the other one, the 6 kg is retailing at uh, 1300, which is almost the double price of what we used to get. But I hear the prices in some places, they usually they are usually so crazy. I hear some places for the 13 kg. Kg they are retaining more than three thousand shillings, while the six kg is retaining at around uh, from fifteen hundred shillings. So, and then high top prices, the flour, both the wheat and the maize flour. That's okay. So for the maize flour, normally we have maize, we have dried up maize. So I normally love the kusiaga. Um, the okay, what do we call it? The maize flour you just take to the miller, your milk. Yes, I find it nutritious, but if I'm not tracking with that, I normally buy the normal one, which is um, the Raha Premium. I find it sweet. So, guys, if I'm not taking tea leaves, this is what I normally take for morning the coffee. I guess take the dormants. I love it. Yes, I love it. It's just nice. So, I want to use boiling. So, what I just do. 
because the consistency is good. I'm not sure, but I think it's good. I know I'm not with two spoons, so this is what I'll do. So when you are adding, you just continue stirring. You continue stirring until you attain the, the right consistency. So I prefer my baby porridge thick. Thick but not so thick. But I love it a bit thick like that. You can see, yeah. Just love it like that. So once the rich consistency is attained, you reduce the heat. Yes, I've reduced the heat and uh, maybe I can cover up this then um, then I cover up this so it can boil as a it can boil on its own. Hardy even so I guess my is almost good. Let's add my chilies. Guys, I know I normally don't have like an actual measurement but I, when I put my tea leaves, I just put put till my ancestors tell me to stop. So I guess that's what can do. I love a generous amount when it comes to the tea leaves. I'm very generous, but when it comes to the sugar, I'm not generous. So I'll be adding uh, sugar. So normally I love the sugar when it's very far away. There's any kombali, kombali, I don't like. So I'll add like two spoons. Two spoons of sugar. Normally guys, when I, I guess with this economy, you, are, you have learned some few basics of what to reduce, how to do this and how to do that. So for me, I love adding the sugar when it's in the tea because all of us take tea i normally don't do that when they, the, there is an exception of people who don't do the sugar so um, so what i normally do i add the sugar in the tea and whenever it boils together it's there you end up using less sugar so is that because i can see like if um if i have like my sisters around, you'll end up using more sugar because <laughs> ah, I love the sugar and it's just here. <laughs> and I love my sugar and it's just there. So because because uh, for me I don't like too much sugar, so does my husband. So today's today's breakfast I decided to be doing um we'll be doing arrow roots. So apparently the place I live in, we live in actually the 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 the, the what? What do we call it in? So I normally just know the name in Kikwe. It's called Kianda. So ours is just flooded. So the only thing that can do well there is the is the arrow roots. So what we normally do, if I want to take arrow roots in the morning, I have to boil them during the night yes so that I in the morning I'll just prepare them so for the arrow roots <laughs> you know guys I guess everything is just just crazy in this country when it comes to food even for arrow roots I can see that like the places the prices have height you can just see like three pieces of arrow roots they're just going for a hundred 150 shillings so guys if you want arrow roots at a good price uh, just drop it on the comments and we shall know how they shall get to you uh, i guess we shall be just giving out random things because uh, because um, we are farming we can just be giving out random things to our subscribers yes 
so my tea is ready <laughs> so i'll just save it this is normally the jug i use for my tea this jug is normally enough for me and my husband so I'm just gonna take it to the sitting room as we wait for the forest. I guess it's all, all it's, it's very okay. So what are we going to do? Okay, I'm taking our roots and please, and still I have to do some eggs. Yes, I guess that's all I'll do for today in the morning. So that's how we'll be taking our breakfast. So I'll just go and get the the arrow roots so that we can prepare them. They're already boiled, so we we'll just prepare them. So I'll just be doing my arrow roots. So guys, I was I wanted to ask a question. How do your child relate with you or the father? You know what I've noticed what I've noticed of late? Baby Israel fits well when he's with the father <laughs> and when he's with me and the mother. Oh. Should I say I'm jealous? <laughs> I'm not jealous but I'm really happy. I love the bond they're having, the father and son bond. I'll be putting it there. So that it can be cool enough. Before he looks with so I'll just put it here so that it will be cool enough. Before he I know he's already up, he normally wakes up at 7 30. So before like I'm done with this, so that we can have breakfast together. I'll just be putting this so that it can be cooling off. So guys, I'll just be using this. This is what I'll be doing. Okay. So I just use this to peel off this. So normally you have okay, I don't know the chemistry. So if we can compare the arrow roots of different places, they always have different taste. There's some that whenever you boil, they soak in water. But I haven't noticed that with this. These ones they are the best, they're always the sweetest. So So I really love them because um, if you're taking them for breakfast, I normally prepare the Israel's stew with arrow roots. So my main reason of even having arrow roots in the house is because of the baby and the father. They love them. They love them. I'm not a big fan of arrow roots, <laughs> but I love the sweet potatoes. I guess I tend to love the sweet things. So, these ones they are normally good for us, they work with us because they even save you a budget for doing breakfast. So, because um, I am hearing everything, everything in this, this country is becoming very expensive. It comes, it comes to bread, bread is. Um, okay, this one has actually soaked in water, so these ones we can take. They always have a weird taste. I don't know how they taste. Imagine guys going and buying, like you buy those three, <laughs> the three of them. Whenever you, and when you come to boil them, they have already soaked in water. So guys, the way I love my arrow roots done, although I'm not going to be doing that today. Um, once I boil them, so um, we can be having a jikon just in the kitchen outside, the, the ones we use firewood. Huh? So, what I'll do um, once they're boiled, I just wait them to cool, then I can just throw them inside the fire, or just so what do we call it? I just roast them. 
I love my arrows done that way. How do you love your arrows done? Can you drop a comment? Let us know how you love them done. So So I'm almost done. So I don't think arrows they there's somebody who can take a lot of them at the same time. Since I don't know. Whenever even I take a piece like this, I feel like I'm full. But they're but they're, but they're very nutritious so. so I'm gonna take the porridge and put it down. And um I'll have this cut them into pieces like this. So for me, I'll just remain mine like that. So that. So guys, I'm done with that. As you can see, my roots they are ready, ready to be eaten. Yes. So just remain. So this is the container I normally use to store my oil. So guys, you know what I've realized? It's always good to buy things in bulk. Like when you have, you have the money. Not even when you have the money. You know, I always see like, it's always good to work on a budget. Eh? Like with the current situation, the way things are. Um. um the oil, at least it is retailing, I guess, at 300 shillings at the cheapest places. So, I always find it fair enough to buy either the 5 liter, but these days I'm usually looking where they offers. Places where they offers, that's where I'm doing my. So, I'll be doing the two eggs. Um, I just do one one for each, because I guess we have taken eggs. A lot of eggs this week. So guys, I normally buy the Kenyaji eggs. I have a friend who supplies a tray at 350 shillings, which I guess is a fair price and I guess the best price you'll ever find. Because I guess the others, they are retailing at, um, at around how many shillings? I guess the last tray we bought, it was retailing at around uh, 330 shillings. So, so getting Kenyaji eggs at 350, this is the best price you'll ever find. So, I don't know, I guess I should mix the food of the eggs together. Because you have one thing that you can do without in the house. Me, I have one thing. I can't do without eggs. I'm a lover of eggs. I just love eggs. So, so guys, if you need all these things, eh? Just be dropping the comment here. Yeah? I know like okay, a, a tray of Kenyaji eggs. And I'm one who's around 600 shillings. So imagine somebody giving you almost half the price. Yeah? Isn't that crazy guys? Okay? 